Sean. I'm the ex-general manager of Lugenda Lodge in Mozambique. Uh, Mozambique, if anybody doesn't know where it is, it's the country bordering South Africa on the eastern coast, um, on the Indian Ocean. Um, it's a very, very large country, but I worked in an area um, in the north of Mozambique, which borders Tanzania, called Nyasa Reserve. It's a nature reserve, um, but it's, it's co-inhabited. There are people and animals living in this reserve together. We had one single tribe, um, the Ajawa tribe, that live in this area. And we were charged, our responsibility was to get the communities, the tribal people, the villagers involved with us in fighting and combating poaching. Now, if anybody doesn't know what poaching is, poaching is when people come and kill animals, specifically elephants. If you can come to picture one, please. Image one. Yeah, okay. Now, in sub-Saharan Africa, um, this, these animals, African elephants, symbolize power and strength. Okay, now in many, many cultures, these animals are highly revered. They're very respected animals, so much so that surnames, family names, are named after these animals. Okay? Now, imagine a society where if you were the bearer of this surname, of an elephant, and this animal was extinct. Very sad. You'd be walking around without claim to your name. Okay? Now, people are killing these animals for their teeth, specifically their tusks, okay? One kilogram of ivory sells for 3,000 US dollars. Okay, we will never, ever, ever be paid the money that poaching makes every year, never. We'll never make that money fighting the poachers, never. But we have to stop it. Because unbeknown to many people, ivory poaching, the killing of these animals, is funding terrorist organizations all over Africa. Okay? Now, I've only been in your country, Tunisia, for a month and a half. I'm an English teacher at Ahmed East. And many people are not aware of the war, and it is a war that is going on in sub-Saharan Africa. Um, picture two, please. All right, pretty gruesome, okay? These animals are killed almost every single day. Between the year 2010 and the year 2012, 100,000 elephants have been killed. Okay. A lot of the times these animals are still alive while their teeth are being removed with axes. Okay. Stopping poachers is not an easy job. Almost 90% of these conflicts, you know, um, are, turn out violent. It turns out into a gunfight. These people are well armed <coughs> with AK 47s, high caliber rifles. We only have single shot bolt-action rifles fighting these people, they have automatic weapons, okay? And some of us get shot and wounded in the process, that's why we get paid so much money. Um, <laughs> but, okay. Um, now, the sad thing about this is, you sit there and you think to yourself, how does this affect us? How does this affect us? I know that in your history, Hannibal of Carthage rode on the back of these elephants and took Rome. Okay? These animals were used to cross the Alps. And in your history, in Arabic history, 
many sultans and sheikhs fought wars off of the back of elephants. Okay, these animals have been in our history and in our culture for millennia. It will be very, very sad to see them disappear. 90% of the elephant population has been wiped out in the past 75 years. 90% of these animals are dead. What remains is near to extinct. Okay. Picture three, please. Now, these are just some general statistics um, showing you how many of these elephants were killed between 2010 and 2012 and in which areas okay, of Africa. Now, the scary thing is sub-Saharan Africa, all right, most of the roads and highways that are built in the cities and the towns and outside were built following elephant trails. Elephants are very, very important for our ecosystem on this continent. They are the mega gardeners of the forest. They clear forests so that there are grasslands for other animals to eat. They dig using their tusks to get water, not just for themselves, but for everything so that ecosystems can survive. Without these animals, grasslands will turn back into forests. Plains animals will no longer have plains to run on and will no longer have grass to eat. So in effect, with these elephants being killed, and I pray to God they never ever get wiped out, I don't want to one day sit with my grandson on my knee and say, hey, did you know that when I was your age, you know, I saw elephants walking in my backyard. You know, I don't want my grandson to look at me and say, what is an elephant? Okay, that would be very, very, very sad. And African cultures in sub-Saharan Africa would change forever without these, these animals. Okay. Uh, picture four, please. Now, at Lugenda in Luwiri, in Nyasa Reserve, we work, as I said, with the local community. We train the local community, the men in the community, to help us combat the poachers. Okay, we are not, we're not many people. In fact, we're about 175 scouts in total. Okay fighting in an area the size of Switzerland. All right? It's a massive area. Nyasa Reserve is very, very large. These men are brave. Okay, they leave their families to combat poachers with us and they could very well die. I mean, you, you never know. You could get shot doing your job. Um, and they fight for what they believe in because in their culture, like many other African cultures, the African elephant is very, very, very important. Okay, picture five, please. All right. Now, you may not believe this, but the people who are buying ivory mainly are the Chinese and the Taiwanese because in their culture, they believe that by owning a small little trinket or a tusk from this animal, they will get the power of an elephant. Okay? It's like drinking rhino horn to help them in the bedroom. It does not work. Okay? It probably works if you strap it on. But... Okay? This stupid superstition is killing our continent okay and we are combating this now you might think to yourself yeah but you know it's been going on for so long and it doesn't really affect us because you know we live here in tunis we live here in tunisia you know how does it affect us it does affect you where are your elephants today the last time I think you guys had elephants was 2,000 years ago. Yeah? 
Okay? And I mean, you are obviously, at, at some time in your life or in your family's life opportunity, you want to see these elephants. You want to see these animals. If you ever have the opportunity to go on safari, you want to see them. Okay? So, I urge you, please, make an effort. Go on to Facebook. Look up Luwiri or Lugenda. And just like the page and share the page. That's all you have to do to help us spread the message. That's how we're fighting this war on the net. Because somebody's going to see it and somebody will help us. Okay? So please, I urge you to do that. And uh, think about these things because they do affect you. Not directly, but indirectly they do. Okay? Alright. Well, guys, that's... Uh, so far, my talk on this, it's been short and powerful. I don't want to linger on about it because it is quite sad. And um, I thank you again for having me here today. And um, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of this seminar. Thank you very much.